today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the mass uprisings that you're seeing for the last couple of weeks. Um, and they're still taking place as we speak. It's interesting like that, you know, how everything has been unfolding in the last couple of weeks. You know, this is a very historical time that we're going through right now. So we're gonna talk about the protests, how the media is covering it. So that's what you're gonna be getting while you'll be getting this look. Today's look, I'm gonna call it like a freestyle. Today, I just wanted to make a statement and I kind of think I did. With all the things that are going on, these are this is kind of a way for me to like, just try to, find something to be grateful for like that i gave you guys a look a serve face this is me trying to cope and find ways to still find ways to have black joy because despite all of this we have to it's in, in order for us to survive as black people we have to find moments and times to find black um to have black joy so that's what you're gonna be getting in this video today it is also juneteenth weekend please pay every black person that you know okay not maybe every wait you know what any black person that you know and if you can't afford it pay them you know, start thinking about ways that you can start actually uplifting and making the lives of black people around you and your community better. Okay, so, and I'm actually gonna be giving you tips today about how you can like do stuff still, even if you don't have money. So please stay tuned. Comment on this video if, if you have ideas that people can get involved. Um, and if you like this, um, if you like this news tutorial, please just give the please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. On with the show. Now stay tuned to find out how you get this look. So Monday, May twenty fifth, twenty twenty, George Floyd of Minneapolis was killed after having a police officer pushing his knee into his throat onto the concrete. A video surfaced of the murder and the four cops involved have now been charged. The reason behind this altercation? An alleged forged check. Today, I'm going to be using Elf Primer again. That's what I usually use, I like it. So this murder that happened to George Floyd week, comes weeks after the murder of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, Sean Reed, Literally this week, um, we learned about the death of the 19 year old in Taliasis and the death of two trans women, Dominique Remy Fells and Raya Milton. So this is what we have been dealing with. I, 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 don't, even, I don't even know how to feel about that, but that, that's really what's going on right now. Days and days go by and there's more and more stories being told right now of black bodies being killed left and right in the middle of a pandemic. Now there's a rebellion, an uprising, whatever you want to call it. It's been erupted through the past three few, few weeks. Um, there's been a Minneapolis police station that was put in flames. We had, we literally had a Capitol Hill at Thomas Stone in Seattle going on right now. Um, we have like people organizing and starting to engage in more political um, literature. People are starting to learn how to reimagine a world without cops. Like there is a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on. In the midst of all of this, there's still protests going on right now. There's still people out on the streets protesting either for any of these deaths that I've just mentioned. In the description box below, I'm gonna be listing all the stories and articles and sources so you guys can really kind of sift through and kind of see what, what's like really get a feel about what's going on. We have to all understand how important and vital things like direct actions and direct action demonstrations are for our freedom. It's always been the thing to really push us for and really get us to the next level. I put my primer on, so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, so today I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with the CoverGirl Easy Breezy, Easy Breezy Brow Fill and Define um, Pencil and Crayon and Black Noir. Yeah, this is, this is it. It was pretty cheap when I got it at Target, so that's why I bought it. I'm actually going to be using a new concealer today. I bought this at Target because I wanted to try it out. So today, um, today I'm going to be concealing my eyebrows with this at the bottom, which is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in the shade Medium Olive. And then I'm going to be using the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. You know, everybody talks about this. This is not anything new and the cool tan. And I'm gonna use that on the top. And then before I do all of that, what I'm actually going to do is gonna be trying this method out that Jackie, I, you know, you know, we learned from her. Um, 
suggested that we do and we're gonna try it out. And the, and the powder I'm gonna be using for this is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder. Um, and it's in the shade medium. So yeah, like I was mentioning earlier, is that we need to really understand that direct action is necessary, no matter how you may feel about the looting and the things that are burning down, those all those things were necessary. Not a single luxury that we experienced today could have been achieved without radical direct action demonstrations. And that's exactly what is happening right now. I, I get, like Again, like I mentioned before, there's still protests happening right now. I need you guys to remember that we still are in a pandemic, a virus that has not disappeared and people are risking their health, like literally risking their health, trying to do something about police, police brutality in the middle, again, in a world by pandemic. And, you know, all of that is just a lot to let sink in. I didn't mention this before, but I'm also going to use this wow brow, wow brow from e.l.f. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I like the brush. This thing, I like it. And the way it looks, I, I like this, I like that, so. And I'm going to use these brush um C this is a C40 C459 brush from Crown Brush. Yeah, C459 Crown. That's what it says. eyebrows are set it's now time to play with the eyes so this is going to be a freestyle situation so i don't really know how it's going to come up with but i am going to be using my crown uh 35 color rose gold eyeshadow palette so this is the palette i'm going to be using okay and i do want to remind you guys that i'm no expert in eyeshadow so if it's not correct or it's not properly blended I'm no expert if you're looking for expertise there's other people on this channel and on this platform so go find them all right i'm for the brush i'm going to take them for my starting brush i'm going to use a morphe m415 the morphe and protesting it seems like the frenzy has calmed down a bit it's interesting to note that the protests and the demonstrations are only on the news when there's like a hyper focus on violence for the past two weeks we watched as many news outlets spoke about these demonstrations in such a fashion that completely took away from the core reason why people are protesting in the first place i'm gonna take the same brush and because this was my primer like i don't know the the base before the base earlier this year i actually got the chance to attend and cover the j31 F ftp3 demonstrations in nyc these demonstrations were simply for the fair hikes that were happening as well as the countless times that um people who were on the on the train getting harassed or even sometimes arrested by police when i went to these demonstrations uh the police presence was just as strong and just as aggressive as we're seeing today below i'll i'll be putting a link towards the medium the medium piece that i wrote the mainstream media will de um, demonize direct action demonstrations without an in-depth understanding of the reasoning behind the civil unrest truth is 
like you or anybody watching is like a bystander and not involved in the protest want to know what the real reason behind these the chaos and destruction is and the major news outlets are just going to give you a hundred reasons why you should focus on property damage and like for me i think it's like really 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 important for us to get protest coverage that's not only informing us informing us about what's happening but also educating mobilizing and empowering all of us um the media that filters events through the protest paradigm which is what i talk about in my medium piece aids in the suppression of direct action when the media immediately de demonizes these demonstrations without accurately shedding light on the political stance behind these actions, it creates a divide between the public and the organizers who are involved and fighting on their behalf. Um, this ne negative portrayal can discourage any acts of nonviolent de radical demonstrations because the media deems it unacceptable. like skip the video and just switch back and do the other eye okay so now that my eyeshadows is done i came back i already did the other one off clamor today i'm going to be using um born to glow again as my foundation for my concealer i'm going to be using the elf hydrating camel concealer and medium beige and then i'm going to be using uh these two palettes, the contour. I'm gonna be setting with the next Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. So you'll be seeing all that happen. So with everything that I was saying earlier about like, you know, the media shaping how people are going to either want to participate or either support protesters. With that being said, I think the most important thing as you, like you, the individual watching can do is to try to work in, to try to work against that certain media narratives uh, by actually connecting with the organizers that are involved in these little movements in your hometown. Find out the issues that they're trying to tackle against and go support them. Cause I'm telling you all of these things that you're saying today are it's like a, it's like a national grouping of people who have been organizing for years. If you really sit there and think about it, we really do need to just start um, being considerate of our bonds in the community because a lot of people are wondering how all of this happened and i'm telling you it was the, it was the organizers who were doing this work before it caught on the television before george floyd was ever on that pavement floor like this is what what movement work looks like everything that you're seeing um, whether it be the protesters or even some of the changes and things that are going on since the protests have been happening. So I think it's really important for all of us to pay attention to start funding or tapping into the people who are already doing the work wherever we're at right now. So sometimes, you know, a biggest question that people are wondering right now is how can I do this? How can I be like involved outside of like just spending money, I guess? And how can I necessarily like, you know, start organizing or connecting with the people in my community so this is how so the first thing that i would really suggest any of you guys to do is to seriously start investing time on educating yourself politically start reading more um things that are happening that happened in the past our elders and when i say elder i mean like us as black people we have elders in the past who have really laid down the like the the, the groundwork in grassroots organizing. They paved the way for us to, the pave, they have paved the way for us and now it's time for us to take what they have started and innovate it and to propel, to propel our future. Um, reading for me is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just, it, it is just sitting down and reading for me, it is, but there is a lot of like audio books and podcasts and that's really how I've been able to like engage in more political education and just like be more informed and in understanding how our country was made and understanding the things that had to happen in order for us to be where we're at today because again history really does reflect history does repeat itself as you can see as everything that's going on today but it also um can bleed, help us shape our future so if you learn and read and read the texts and 
stuff. I mean, there's so many threads on Twitter that you can find of people just giving you reading list after reading list, podcasts, um, threads, like just just trying to get people to be more aware about politics and just getting more involved. So I think that um, one thing that you can seriously do as an individual is just start educating yourself. And if you don't know where to start, um, I'm gonna link some stuff below, but you know, tell me in the comments below what you would wanna see. Like, what exactly are you trying to like look for? What, you know what I mean? But I can, and I can help you find those sources, so. The second thing that I would probably suggest to you is to start talking to your neighbors. I know that sounds super awkward and like doesn't sound that fun, but honestly, the best thing that you can do right now, especially with COVID-19 still in the premises, is just to start like, you know, trying to exchange information and, and, and contact information between your neighbors. Um, getting to know them and understanding what they may and may not need during this time is really important because our neighbors are going to be the first line of defense to, if anything were to happen. I mean, I don't even know what I mean by that, but in the sense that like the community that you live in is the first line of defense. So everything that's happening on the world, the, the most effective change that you can have is going to be where you're at right now. And how you can affect that change is really talking to people and really connecting people, connecting with people in your community. Again, sounds super corny, but that's where the real work, the real effective work is at, is where you're at. So start talking to your neighbor. I'm not saying you have to be the best of buds with them, but start exchanging like information and learn about each other. When I say we need to protect each other, we really need to protect each other. I mean that we as community members have to come together and learn about one another and find common things to work towards in order to protect and uplift each other. Um, when you read, when you do read about our elders, you'll learn, you'll know that the way that they got things done was by community work um, and interacting with people in the community. Find the people on the block, find the people on your block to talk to. Um, and find other people of color in your small town that are just as upset as you and try to figure out ways that you can create a safe environment where you're at right now for the black people in your community. So that's what I would really say is to really start finding people um, that you can kind of organize with, I guess, or finding people who are just, a, just as upset with everything that's going on and wants to really make an impact in, the, in where, they're, where they're at right now, so. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, Born to Go on the corners just cause it's a little bit brighter and I kinda wanna see if it would look cute if I blend it in. I'm back with a wet sponge and we gonna blend these out. The third thing that I would suggest is to find the organizers specifically in your town that are doing the work. And I know it's hard to believe even in small places. I mean, I used to, I, um, I'm originally from upstate New York. So I know like how it is to be in a small town and feel like nobody else in that area or space is even thinking or like feeling the same way that you might be, especially if you're a person of color, especially if you are a black person. Um, but I promise you, uh, there are people where you live, like I mentioned earlier, who feel exactly the same way that you do and want to do something about it. You need funding the groups that are in your org, like funding the community groups that are doing the work in your community don't always have to, does not always have to be in money. I mean, it's great if you have the money to send it, but if you don't, what you can do is maybe, you know, uh, give food, give free food. If you have any free food in your fridge or you have like leftovers from dinner, give free food to organizers who you know are still out on the streets or bring it to the jail houses and do it for jail support um what you can also do is like open up your room your depending on where you're at um you can open up your living room to protesters if they need to beat crow fruit and they need a place to stay for the night or you can even open up your um living room or your like restaurant depending on what kind of business you may have you can open it up as a space for organizers to sit there and have a place to organize have a place to say okay every wednesday night we're going to meet here to talk about things that we can do to um 
build the community and find ways to get people's needs met. So I think those are the, the ways that you can really like aid in this moment and, 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 and make an impact even where you're at, like where you are at in your hometown, state, place, wherever. The hydrogen concealer from e.l.f. again. This is the contour, okay? The fourth thing that I would really suggest you guys to do is really have a long sit down with yourself and check in with your, not even check in, check yourself. Check your privilege, check I'm talking about check yourself be real with yourself uh, take a second to to absorb what's going on in the world and understand how you may or may not be playing a role in it for real check check yourself check your privilege whatever you want to call it check yourself try to think of the world in an introspective way try to see beyond your own reality try to put yourself in other people's shoes empathy it's not like a crazy crazy concept i promise you people have been doing this for the millennia that's the only reason why we are here i mean in my opinion we are social beings so we need to think about people instead of the individual but that could be for another video but yeah check check your own my camera keeps cutting off my apologies but um but like i said you just have to start checking yourself and checking your privilege overall i really do think that we need to like move beyond we have to move past the online outrage and bickering back and forth i mean i know people are already doing that i know there's already organizers who've been doing that who stopped doing that since like listen um you know me personally i've been arguing in people and, and going in back and forth with people since like 2014 and it's exhausting to be honest and now it's time for all of us to just find just you know just worry about the action that is happening right now and finding your role in all of it you know each and every one of you guys who watch this video can and should play a role in defending your rights as a human being and also defending the rights of other people especially those who are um, under this oppressive system, if that's what you want to call it, depending on what you want to call it. So, um, you know, if it's not for yourself, do it for your future, like the, the future children, the people, the generations that will come, you know, afterwards and they take all of us on. All of our past elders in the 60s and the 50s and whatever sorts, all thought of us, all thought of the day of us living the way that we are today. So it's important that we, you know, kind of carry on that tradition. I'm gonna be using uh, the contour palette, the dark shade right here uh, to set the contour that I made. Um, if you want to know where I got them from, to be honest, I got them from a, I got them from a beauty supply store that's literally like down, like down, like literally I walk out, it's like right in front of me, right near my apartment, so yeah. But look at them, they're so cute. Okay, um, for my lips, I'm going to be using the 
lip gloss and brown lip pencil combo, okay? So those are really all the tips and tricks that I, I guess I can give you um, to try to like get more involved where you're at, wherever you may be at. Um, I think it's super important for all of us to try to make some type of effort to be involved, especially now. Things are moving super fast. Things are transforming before our eyes. We really are gonna walk away from, from 2020, a whole different country. So it's now that we need to like start being more active, more in there, so. And then to top all this off, we're going to spray with the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist Spray. E.l.f. is lit. Illuminating. enjoyed this news tutorial um if you guys have any questions about anything please comment below um again all the sources and articles that i use to make this video will be in the description box below please comment below any ways that you think that you can help people organize and take action in their own communities okay um thank you again for watching and tuning in and i hope you like the look and i hope you like the concept of this show and just tell me what you think okay thank you